Libra, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot, and this is going to be your mid-month birthday bonus reading. So happy birthday to all of my Libras out there. I am setting the intention for any Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So keep that in mind. Timing and energy is fluid. This reading may or may not be for you. So let's kind of do a mid-month check-in for my Libras and see what kind of a message needs to come through. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already. And let's jump right in and see what kind of a message needs to come through for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mid-month check-in. You are highly thought of. So somebody's thinking about you. Maybe you're not quite aware of this person yet, but I feel with the blue and the red, somebody's kind of getting ready to tell you that they've been thinking about you. And red to me signifies romance. Bottom of the deck, I believe you're climbing towards the ladder of success. So let's see. We got a couple more over here. I think you've been worrying about something for nothing. So Libra, release all of those worries with the whale energy. Great worry over nothing because I think happiness is around the, around the corner. Flowers is romance too for me. I feel a romantic gesture is what's coming through. So let's see what else needs to come through for you, Libra. Highly, highly thought of. And I think you are going to be dealing with matters of the heart for the rest of the month, Libra, and perhaps a man holding a coin. I think somebody here, solid, stable, um, has a lot to offer. I think preparing to kind of journey towards you is what's coming through, Libra. I feel decision time. Twos are all about partnerships, crossroads, needing to make a judgment call, and I do believe this is stemming around a heartfelt solid committed offer coming your way because somebody's been thinking about you and i feel somebody's been working hard at building some stability in their lives and i feel getting ready to kind of open up their heart i feel somebody has a lot of deep deep emotions here libra let's keep going and see what else needs to come through what else can you tell me about this message mending so maybe there is a need to mend something from the past when it comes to this energy coming forward and perhaps this is stemming around stepping into service this is my servitude card chop wood carry water there is a new life here there is a brand new cycle opening up this is feeling very good and i do believe a regeneration uh, a regeneration of a soulmate connection this is true love um, this is a lot, a lot of love, and I feel a divinely guided partnership is what's coming through for my Libras. Get ready for a lot of mending, and perhaps this is about you stepping into purpose, climbing up the spiritual ladder, and turning that into success. I think you're worrying about nothing. If you've been stressed and worried, I think you have nothing to worry about. I feel a lot of positive energy. We'll see what else needs to come through. Discovery. I think you are on the pathway to discover some gold. I feel a lot of good energy. New friends and colleagues. I'm feeling celebrations. Maybe you're going to bump into somebody at um, a get-together, a gathering. And I think there's that worry over nothing. A consciousness of lack. So, release that unconscious worry. Release that lack mentality. Because I think below the surface, somebody is planning to take action. I think major increases as you close out past cycles and step into a brand new beginning. Release the worry. It's only creating confusion and mixed messages to the universe. Because I think you're about to discover... A whole new energy, Libra, and it's going to be peaceful. It's going to feel very, very free. And I do feel something coming back around from the past in order for that resolution. So let's see what needs to come through with the Witch's Tarot. We'll see what other energies need to come through for you, Libra. Release the back and forth. Release the indecision. Um, know that you are worthy. And um, this is a deep, deep past life connection. And I do feel somebody's got a major solid offer coming forward. And it will um, regenerate perhaps what you thought was lost. I think there was a masculine in the past 
that maybe didn't value you. And I feel the crossroads is here. And there's a lot of illumination and a lot of happy times coming your way, Libra. I think the central issue, the page of pentacles reversed. I do feel there's been a lot of internal struggle when it comes to stepping into this new experience. And I feel maybe you had to learn how to value yourself. Um, I do see somebody getting ready to make a conscious change, to release a long-standing burden, to perhaps, you know, pack up and head in a new direction. But I do feel, you know, there's a lot of success here. The Nine of Pentacles is that pre-Empress energy, very independent, very solid, very grounded, very stable. And I think, you know, somebody here has been repeating negative patterns, not really willing to step into this new experience. Maybe there was a need for healing when it comes to this struggling energy. But let's get one last card out here. Six of Wands reverse. I think somebody here fears not having victory and success. And I do feel somebody's been in a hanged man energy for quite some time when it comes to working together with somebody. And I feel there's been fear around this. I feel there has been some deep, dark depression. And I do feel somebody in the past really did act cowardly, really out of their lower ego, which I think created a dark night of the soul when it comes to what could have been a solid committed partnership. With this Emperor Reverse, I feel that's a really distorted masculine energy. Somebody not wanting to step up. Somebody not wanting to step into that higher level of commitment. I feel because they they were also struggling internally when it comes to their self-worth and their self-value. But I do feel a masculine energy here getting ready to get the rug pulled from out from, out from under him. Uh, it could be an Aries. It doesn't have to be. Um, but I feel a masculine here about to get the rug pulled out from under, under him from ignoring stepping it up is kind of what I feel. C kind of getting ready to break free from this struggle where it's come um, from head over heart. And I feel somebody has been at that crossroads for a very long time debating, going through perhaps a regeneration, a rebirth energy, diving deep within some shadow aspects when it comes to this lack mentality, preparing for change, a shift in consciousness when it comes to stepping into service and doing what is right and doing what is just. And I do feel um, there's been a lot of illumination in the energy at, when it comes to this um, lack of coming forward when it comes to not coming forward with that brand new beginning and i feel this is your energy libra this nine of pentacles and i feel you're really encouraged to just keep holding your own i feel you know you're financially stable you're really stepping into independence authenticity and I feel that's where you really need to be at for the rest of the month. Firm in those boundaries. Set those clear intentions. I do feel a huge shift in perspective when it comes to this lack mentality. You could be dealing with a Pisces or another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Leo or Taurus. But somebody here is definitely preparing to lay down a long-standing burden, especially when it comes to lack of reciprocity. I do feel, you know, somebody deeply fears not having lack and success here. Somebody's been, you know, keeping their foot stuck in the wheel. And, you know, the universe has been trying to bring this forward for quite some time. And there's that five of wands energy again. So releasing the struggle when it comes to fear of victory and success. So I do want to dig a little bit deeper into this emperor energy. The fool, the hermit, queen of wands reverse. So there was, I feel, maybe a lack of mothering when it comes to this masculine. Perhaps, you know, he had a very skewed per perception of of, you know, feminine energy. The Queen of Wands reverse is a very karmic energy, jealous, possessive, controlling. And maybe there was a masculine um, that needed to learn a lesson about, about possessiveness and jealousy. And then we have the Virgo. So I do believe this masculine has gone within. I feel this has been a connection that's been cold for quite some time as a masculine was searching for that inner light, searching for that truth, that illumination, when it comes to starting a brand new cycle and taking that, that leap of faith. I think holding on to a lot of burdens, you know, fear of releasing these burdens because it's been such a repeated pattern. And, it, and I think somebody here really struggled with breaking free from that. 
Um, and I do feel somebody's really found that inner light and found the answers. I was going to ask about the Six of Wands in reverse, and we got a huge pile. So I do believe there have been withheld emotions. The King of Cups reverse can be very cold and detached when it comes to his emotions. But there's a huge tower moment coming here, Libra. A huge shift, an unavoidable change, an unexpected shakeup. When it comes to somebody shifting their perception, to me, the tower reversed in this instant is, is an emotional shift. It is, it is a deep internal transformation in order for this regeneration to take place. When it does come to a deep soulmate connection, the justice with the six of cups. So there is going to be balance restored. There is going to be truth spoken and what is fair and just is going to play out. And I do believe there is a possibility of a reconciliation. There is a masculine here transforming in the energies when it comes to deception, needing to win at all costs, lacking that truth, that integrity, accountability and honesty. And I feel coming out of hiding um, the Four of Swords reverse. There has been somebody healing some deep-seated childhood pain in the energies, I feel. And there is going to be a transformation. There is going to be an opportunity to start again once somebody releases this struggle. And I feel brand new beginning in love, heart chakra awakening. And I do feel the time is now for something to come back around. I think a missed opportunity is coming back around. I think this is going to be a very emotional time as you close out a major worldly cycle and you both are kind of learning a major karmic lesson when it comes to healing, self-love, unconditional love. So I think leave, leave the mental turmoil behind. Keep moving forward into that calmer energy because wish fulfillment is coming. A solid committed partnership and you're really needing to mother yourself and trust that what was not balanced and fair there is going to be an offer coming. There is going to be an apology coming. I feel there's been a lack of communication, blocked communication, and perhaps somebody really going deep into some lower addictive energies, overindulgences, and I feel it was really a lesson needing to be learned to shift into these higher thought process, processes. I do think somebody's um, thinking a lot about you, Libra, so... Let's see what else needs to come through with the Lover's Oracle before I pull a crystal stone message for you, Libra. What else does Libra need to be aware of for this birthday check-in? Aries, I see Aries, Virgo, Leo, water. You could be dealing with a water sign, another Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But get ready for a quick turn of events. I think uh, a, a very powerful aha moment, a discovery when it comes to this illumination. So I think in the past, yeah, somebody was wearing a mask, not showing their true feelings, hiding their true intentions, hiding their true feelings, pretending to not care and maybe delude themselves when it comes to this connection. But I do think somebody really, really likes you, Libra. I think somebody really wants this romance to blossom, perhaps take you out on a date. So Somebody here holds the key to your heart or vice versa. Open up your heart. I feel you're getting ready to come into union with the one and you're needing to welcome in this love because it is going to provide you a lot of stability, um, a lot of permanence, security, growth. I think a connection with a lot of endurance. Um, you're needing to be flexible because I think somebody wants to take you out for a coffee, perhaps uh, a, a meeting where you can sit and chat a little bit. I think savor the moment because I feel this uplift, uplifting path is coming forward. Yeah, in the past, I feel somebody didn't feel like they were enough. And they did kind of go into a lot of self-indulgence in order to do um, the self-work needed to heal. I feel a lot of shadow work was done in this hermit energy, in this Virgo energy. And I feel somebody's really lacked the confidence to step forward um, for issues out of fear-based energy, jealousy, self-sabotaging, and I feel somebody didn't really want to deal with that conversation. They really blocked communication and avoided that conversation, avoided calling you, speaking up, didn't want to deal with the hurt and the pain. And, you know, I think there's a need to release any residual anger for this to kind of come together because it is about self-love, self-care. 
and uh, being being in better healthy choices for your love life and overall health. Perhaps this is a twin flame connection. We do have the twin flame energy. So there is a lot of balancing, playing out in the energies, a lot of duality, a lot of mastering that internal conflict when it comes to coupling and complementing each other. So maybe you've been um, striving towards this union, this union and this yin-yang balance for quite some time. But I do feel... Um, you stepping into a new experience, stepping into a brand new life. So release any lack of confidence. Don't you go into any self-sabotaging energies because I think it's really time for you both to feel all of your feels, to kind of recharge and regenerate um, a connection. I think you're both really old souls and you've been in a lot of dark night of the soul energy. And I feel you're both kind of getting ready to restore that burning passion, I think. Um, with the opal, we did get opal that came out, topaz, and amber. So I feel somebody is going through a regeneration, gearing up to kind of take that action, to send that text, to send that message, to have that communication. And I feel a conversion taking place. So I do feel like a metaphysical or, or like a deep spiritual connection, a cellular connection, a universal um connection like electrified is what's coming through so I think um, you really are encouraged to you know instill those firm spiritual protection energies in and around you because I do feel this is a, is a profound connection and I feel a lot of divine ruling in the energies however that resonates for you so I feel a relationship getting back on track after a lot of energetic blocks had to be cleared and um, somebody knows it's kind of time to take that action. I think they've been stuck in that middle energy of back and forth, not knowing what decision was the right decision. And somebody really is being pointed, I feel, in the right direction now by spirit. And I feel if you felt like you've misfired and had a lot of missed opportunities when it comes to this connection, I think the passion that you that you both share really is indispensable and you're really um getting ready to kind of release and transform all of those lower wild obsessions and um, negative repetitive patterns i feel because i think you both have a burning desire for each other so i think get ready for a shake up um because i think it's time for you to feel all of these feels when it comes to bringing this into formation so that's what i got for you libra I hope this resonated. If it did, and you would like to book a personal reading, please feel free to check out the information box below. Thank you.